So I know with me having a record of exposing a lot of different things, some people may paint in your head and call me a conspiracy theorist or something of this manner. But let me show you a clip, okay? Disturbing footage surfaced of a drag queen performing in front of infants. Yes, infants. The vision is so shocking that we have to heavily blur it. But these are grown adults in bondage gear or in G-strings strutting around in front of tiny kids, infants, toddlers. The heavily sexualized drag shows is just uh, the latest in a growing list of drag events being targeted towards children. So you mean to tell me that I'm a conspiracy theorist because I see what's like, what, what, what can you say about this? Like, this is not deliberate. This is not an attack on the kids. Who in their right mind is going to dress up in a thong, a male at that, and dance in front of little kids? And you mean to tell me that this is not an agenda? They're not they're not attacking these kids? Bro, like this is wild. And the most mind blowing part is people sitting up here and justifying this. This ain't this ain't wickedness. Now look, let's read. Let's read from the Bible, all right? Let's read something, y'all. Proverbs 17, 13, it says, Whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. So everybody up here justifying this, saying this is good, evil will not depart from your house. You must realize this, okay? Let's let's read something else. Isaiah 5, 20, it says, Woe, woe is a very bad thing, all right? Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, um, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Is this good or bad? And and the thing is, bro, like I guess maybe I'm feeling this type of way now because I'm about to have a child and I'm starting to see like, bro, I don't want my kids like growing up in this society, man. This is bad. This is very bad. And And you know what's even worse? To, to further prove my point that there is a deliberate attack on kids. Look, so watch this right here. I'm a licensed professional counselor and sex therapist in Erie, Pennsylvania. And today I wanna to talk about minor attracted persons. And I want to talk about minor attracted persons because they are probably the most vilified population of folks in our culture and most folks are making incorrect assumptions about them without actually knowing much about them. And those assumptions create harm for an already marginalized population. You may have noticed that I'm using the term minor attracted persons, sometimes abbreviated to MAPS, instead of the more commonly used term pedophile. And I'm doing this because the term pedophile has moved from being a diagnostic label to being a judgmental, hurtful insult that we hurl at people in order to harm them or slander them. I also prefer person-first language that recognizes that any label we might apply to a person is only part of who they are. So you heard it right, ladies and gentlemen, it's called MAPS. So you mean to tell me, I'm not allowed to call a pedophile a pedophile. So you can be attracted to little kids and I'm supposed to normalize this. So we're supposed to call it, um, don't say pedophile because that's offensive, say MAPS, minor attracted person. So I'm gonna label this person being attracted to a minor and it's just supposed to be okay. Like you mean to tell me that you were born to be attracted to little kids. I find it very funny that Hollywood and all of these people are known for um, pedophile, being pedophiles. Elijah Wood's shocking allegations against the entertainment industry. In a new interview with the Sunday Times, the former child star alleges that pedophilia has been a real issue in Hollywood 
He tells the publication, quote, There are a lot of vipers in this industry, people who only have their own interests in mind. What bums me about these situations is that the victims can't speak as loudly as the people in power. That's the tragedy of attempting to reveal what is happening to innocent people. They can be squashed, but their lives have been irreparably damaged. The 35-year-old adds, If you're innocent, you have very little knowledge of the world and you want to succeed. People with parasitic interests will see you as their prey. I can get a good career doing this. You know, it's going to be good. Wood says he was not a victim of abuse because his mother Deborah protected him and he avoided those kinds of situations. He goes on to allege that even as an adult in the industry, he has been, quote, led down dark paths to realize that these things probably are still happening. Disney, all they do is show stuff with pedophiles. So now you're normalizing it so that these people don't get in trouble for it. Like, bro, this is a wicked generation world we live in. This is the end times. If this message don't wake y'all up and tell y'all to get right with Christ, bro, Christ is about to return. And this is just, this is wicked. Like, I don't desire anything of this world at all. It, it disgusts me. Every single last bit of all of this stuff. It disgusts me. And... I ain't got no words at this point, but I'm just putting it out here just so y'all can see it. And so so to expose it even so y'all can see this stuff, because like I'm I'm literally over it at this point, y'all.